Welcome to another edition of Outside the Nest on the RCBSN Network, where you're always on the Eagle. I'm your host, John Griffin. Our producer is Dave Oliverio, and today we welcome in Coach Basil Lucas from the boys' basketball team. Coach, welcome in. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about the season uh, so far. Last night, you beat a good Preston team, and that gave you your fourth win in a row, four out of the last five wins. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I, like I said, the whole season, this is going to be a journey. And, uh, you know, after the first 10 games of the season, we figured out who could play varsity minutes and, and, and sustain that. And we've been uh, working on the team gelling better. And uh, that's really what we've done. We're, we're, you know, compared to the first 10 games of the season, now we're sharing the basketball better. We're working the basketball better in, the, in our offense. The ball's moving side to side more often. We're not taking uh, quick shots, and that's really been critical to what's going on. Early in the season, we were just taking shots so darn quick that we never gave our, ourselves a chance to get a better shot. Now we're getting those better shots in our offense, and we're, in return, we're, we're scoring more points, and our shooting percentage has been higher. Uh, the, the previous four games before last night, I think we were shooting over 54 55% from the field. That's pretty darn good for high school basketball team. And that evens your record at 8-8, eight and eight, and that sets you up nicely to finish the season with a winning record. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, they're playing really well together. Uh, you know, they're trusting each other. That's, that's the biggest key is, is trusting your teammates, and uh, that's what they're doing now. They're trusting their teammate that if, if they are passed to them and that person doesn't have an avenue to score, that they're going to look and throw to the guy that, that does have an opportunity or a better opportunity to to score. And one of the other areas where you've improved, and this is especially true of last night and probably what helped you win the game, is free throw shooting. Well, free throw shooting, that go, those two things go hand in hand just because there's there's flow in the offense. And when there's flow in the offense, you're going to get the line more. And that's, a, that's another significant change that's occurred. You know, when you come down the floor and you pass one time and there's five guys looking at you where the ball is and you take off, you know, you're probably not going to take a good shot. You're probably going to get contested and you're probably not going to get fouled. When you move the ball side to side and you get a defense off balance, now when you have an opportunity to attack, sometimes those defenders are there late, and then now you have an opportunity to score and possibly get an and one situation where you score, get the bucket, and a foul shot as well. And it looked like last night against Preston that in particular, particularly Manny and Logan both tried to get to the rim. And did a good job. Absolutely. I mean, they, you know, we're spacing the floor really well with those two guys. And, you know, basketball, it, you know, for players, they have to adjust to what's going on on, 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 the, on the court you know, automatically. And that's what they're doing a much better job of, both Logan and Manny. We ran a, we ran a play for Logan yesterday, and which was, should have been or could have been a jump shot. And he ended up shooting a layup on it because of the way they played that. They saw that set. They, they, they switched off at, on it took away the shot, but, he, they, but gave him baseline to be able to attack and uh, score at the basket. So 16 games into the season, you're relatively healthy, but I've noticed a couple of nagging minor injuries here and there. Just just basketball situations. I mean, you, you play basketball, you're going to jam your thumb. You play enough basketball, you're going to sprain your ankle. You play basketball and you don't hydrate, you're going to have cramps. And that's something we talk about all the time. We have to hydrate better. Always in favor of hydrating. Always in favor of hydrating. <laughs> Do you encourage them to drink a lot of Gatorade, a lot of water before the game so that they don't need it during the game that, as much? That needs to be done the 24 hours previous. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that needs to start today. You know, we played last night. They should have been drinking water and Gatorade all day today <laughs> and all night tonight. <laughs> as, as far as an identity goes for the team, have you found one? Are you developing one yet? What are your thoughts on oh, that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, our identity is, is, is defense and rebounding. And, uh, you know, it, that's what's gotten better as the season's going on. You know, last night's a particularly great example of, of how defense can win a game. We'd been shooting, like I said, 54, 55% our previous games, and we come out last night and go 14 of 47. Well, the only reason we're in the game is because of the defense and the rebounding. So if you don't do that every night, you don't even give yourself a chance. We gave ourselves a chance last night, and, and on top of it, we executed at the end to be able to secure the win. And that's what we're getting better at. All right, Coach, tomorrow, uh, tough game at Fairmont Senior. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited for this game. 
Uh, I think the kids are excited. I told them when we played them here a couple weeks ago, hey, I could see that, that, that our season was starting to turn because I, I could see them in practice getting better and better and better every day. And, and, and that's still going on. Well, we played much better as well in games right. since that stretch. So that's our last loss was that game a couple Fridays ago against Fairmont Senior. I'm anxious to see what, what kind of steps we've taken forward to close that gap with Fairmont Senior. Always looking for improvement. Yep. All right. Well, Coach, good luck tomorrow night and good luck the rest of the season. We'll be in touch with you and talk to you from time to time. All right. Thanks All so right. much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you for joining us on Outside the Nest for Outside the Nest and the RCBSN Network. I'm John Griffin. Until next time, make sure you fly like an eagle.